Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Today is Sunday, May 2nd. And I'm actually about to go do a Walmart pickup order. It is like 6 p.m. already. And I didn't, well, I did do a lot actually today. I went on a run this morning and I showered and I washed my hair. I actually need to do my hair when I get home. I need to like make a bunch of meals tonight for the week. Um, and I need to go pick up my Walmart order, like I said. But I did go shopping earlier with my mom. So I'll show you guys what I got when I come back from Walmart. Um, and I just filmed some videos. I filmed a wax video. I filmed my empties and I have my laptop over there. And yeah, I'm just a little bit of a mess today, but that's okay. Um, and then I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. I'm like really kind of not scared, but I have to go get a cleaning. I'm gonna just spray a little bit of almond blossom. I'm gonna respray today for today, for the second time today. Um, but yeah, I'm a little scared because I'm getting a cleaning and it's the first time I'm getting a cleaning with my braces on. I don't know how they do that. Um, and I'm also gonna miss like the first two hours of work. So I'm probably gonna have to stay late tomorrow. Um, so not excited about that. And my boss was out of town for two weeks and this is the first day that he's gonna be back. So he's probably gonna be like, he's probably gonna want me to do a lot of stuff now that he's back um, and he's been gone for two weeks and he's gonna wanna talk to me, but I'm gonna be in late because I have a dentist appointment. But anyways, um, yeah, so I need to go get my Walmart pickup order before it's too late. And um, I will see you guys later today for that haul. Okay, so I've laid out everything from my haul today and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. So first we went to Ross and then right next door was a Marshall's Home Goods. So I'll start with Ross because that's where we went first. Um, but I was looking for a few things for my office. I really wanted like, I want like a little couch and or like a chair and a uh, standing lamp but I didn't find either of those but I did find a really cute clock and it's gold I just thought it was really sleek um it was $7.99 super cheap because it's Ross and I found a letter board I don't know if I'm gonna leave that um uh, here at my house or bring it to work I just thought it was cute and I've been looking for one for a while and this was $9.99 and then I got some socks because I'm like in desperate need of socks so $7.99 for a pack of socks and um i got a few cute tops they had a lot of um they had a lot of stuff but none of it was really cute because ross is kind of like finding a needle in a haystack there's a lot of like cheap looking and cheap feeling clothing um but every now and then there's a really cute piece so i found this little tank top with like the seams super trendy um this was $8.99 from urban nation they always have like random um brands they actually had like a few name brands like polo ralph lauren, polo ralph lauren and other stuff but yeah this is cute i think i could wear it on like casual days like with just leggings and be like really adorable um and then i also got sorry i have to like back up i also got this little black top it's super soft that's what really made me get it but i've been wanting one of the tops like with like the cinched down the middle and it's not cropped so i really like that too so i can just wear this like on a simple day with jeans and just like have a look that's cute but still really simple and this was $5.99 so really good deal for how soft it is I really liked that so that's what I got from Ross and then from TJ Maxx no sorry Marshalls I got some really cute tops so they had so much cute stuff um this first thing I got this like flouncy top um it's from the brand Jopra I think um and it's $12.99 and um it's like a little peplum kind of top with fluttery sleeves like a little cinched bodice right here i just thought it was really cute this is the type of stuff that i really go for like really girly i love these like flouncy fluttery ruffly tops so really cute for spring and summer and then i got this which is actually like hot pink it's kind of showing up red on camera but it's hot pink top and again with the jawstring, but this one is cropped and has little lettuce, um, lettuce edge sleeves, really short sleeves, like kind of cap sleeves. They're so small, but I just thought it was really adorable for $7.99. It's also really soft. I think it's just be really, really cute to 
kind of spice up a little plain outfit with just like jeans or shorts or whatever. Um, and then my mom found this for me and it looks exactly like me. Um, this little top from Isa and Ella. It was on sale for nine. Probably somebody like returned it or something, but it's like a linen top. And linen is super in this season. And it has like the little cinched sleeves. It's a peplum top. It's like nice and flowy and thin. So it'll be good for summer. Has little like tassels. I just thought it was like really, really simple and cute. And I'll probably get a lot of use of this actually in the fall because this color is like a muted mauve. And I feel like that would be really pretty in the fall, but you know, I'll probably wear it now anyways, but that was nine. And then I did pick up a few things. I picked up these hair clips in the checkout line. I just thought they were really cool. I love the shape. Um, they're $5.99. I really like the shape of them. I just thought they were fun. And then I have been looking for a new cheese spray. Um, I would, I have a cheese spray that my mom gave me that's like a mini. And um, I've been looking for a big one. Even though I don't like use it that much, this will last me probably like two years. Um, but this was... $10.99. It's always a lot cheaper if you get it at Marshalls or Home Goods or TJ Maxx or whatever. So I picked that up. And then I'm about to run out of my um, lip balm that I use at night after I brush my teeth, morning and night after I brush my teeth. So I picked up a Laneige lip sleeping mask. I always see this at TJ Maxx. And this is the grapefruit scent. It was $14.99. I I always contemplate getting one of these and I finally saw it and I was like, I'm going to get it because I'm almost out of my other ones. So finally going to try the lip sleeping mask from Laneige and that is everything that I got. So yeah, cute little haul. I might do like a little, I might try these on and just see what they look like. Um, but yeah, that is everything from the haul. Well, hello guys. It is currently Saturday, May 8th. It is 7.30. Um, I just like forgot to vlog today. I don't know what happened. Um, I kind of just chilled most of the day. I finally, uh, wore my hair curly today. I, this is like the first time I've actually blow dried it. Um, I usually like diffuse it when I wear it curly, but I can only diffuse it on like weekdays because then I'll just sleep on my hair if I do it at night on week. Sorry. What? Does that make sense? Weekends. I only diffuse it on weekends when I take morning showers. There we go. That was difficult to get out but um yeah I really didn't do a lot today I did a lot of laundry uh washing my sheets currently because my friend's gonna come and stay with me next weekend so that should be really fun that'll be a fun part of the vlog if it's like a lot of footage I might actually have to make it into its own vlog um but this hair's annoying me it's not curled but yeah I um didn't do much uh cleaned a bit Took a shower, washed my hair, and I um, diffused it today so it looks like actually curly. I love it. And I did a little bit of like green eyeshadow today. Um, I really love, if you guys haven't um, seen it before, the Alamar palette. Um, sorry, the Reina del Caribe palette from Alamar Cosmetics. I got this in a boxy charm like three years ago, and I always use this green shade in the spring and summer. It's beautiful. So pretty. Definitely recommend that brand. It's like a really good women-led, um, women of color-led brand, but, um, anyways, uh, today I didn't do a lot. I recorded my Project Use It Up update. Um, we were gonna go get my mom's oil change, but it turns out that we were, they closed earlier than we thought, so we didn't do that. Then we went to Target, got some stuff. Mm -hmm. I, um, bought some new curl mousse because I realized today that I am out, <laughs> um, and some groceries, and yeah, that's, I really didn't do a lot today. I got on my desktop for the first time in a long time. I have like, let me show, turn it around and show you guys my like desk setup. So I just filmed a video, so I left that there. And then I also just filmed a TikTok on my Project Use It Up stuff. But yeah, I have my desktop right here. This is like a horrible setup really because it's so small and then my chair like hits my bed. But I really don't have that much room in my room um, to be able to have like a desktop computer desk and then a separate desk to do my makeup at so I just have like this thing sometimes I'll move it if I'm like really working um because I can just like take it off of here and put on my bed for an hour or whatever while I'm actually working but yeah it's kind of it's kind of messy whatever but yeah I was on my desktop for the first time in a while because I wanted to I really want to play sims again you know how it gets either you hardcore play it for like a month 
um i was watching um i was watching majestic m you know uh watching of course bath and body works videos and then i was also editing my spreadsheet of inventory and downloading stuff for sims because i like to use custom content um but you know how it is where either you play it straight like 24 hours straight or like two weeks straight and then you don't play it for like the rest of the year that's pretty much me um i was playing it really hardcore like around christmas time and then just like totally dropped off so i want to get back on it but you know how it is you gotta have free time but yeah i didn't really do much today i'm wearing my new shirt that i got i'll show you guys the outfit because it's not it's not really that crazy but yeah it's not crazy, but I feel like it's still cute. It's um, the drawstring top. I don't know if you can tell, it has like a little drawstring on it. Um, layered necklace and shorts. And then I had on some little slides or some sandals earlier. They're these little ones from um, Target when we went to Target to go shopping. And yeah, I tried to like clean up my closet a bit. I put away all my old like fall and winter clothes. And then I set out some stuff that I'd like to wear this week and all my friends here. Um, I have this cute outfit that I showed you guys last week in the vlog with this like pink, um, pink polo and skirt and the, and then all these new shirts that I just got, um, this little fluttery sleeve one, this like little tank top, tie dye, uh, this one I probably won't wear or like this one, which is actually really, really cute. I might wear this one. So yeah, just putting together outfits for this weekend when my friend comes over. I need to like finalize what we're gonna do. Um, for the most part, I have restaurants down because I, that's like the easy part, but deciding what to do is the hard part. But I have, um, we're probably gonna go to the Color Factory, which if you guys don't know, it's like an interactive museum in Houston. And you can, there's like so many Instagrammable spots within the little museum. Um, so that'll be fun and um yeah and going eat some at places and get some drinks and hopefully uh, be outside i'm a little worried that there's like a few places that i want to go downtown that i'm a little worried are going to be super crowded um, because it will be the weekend so we'll just have to see how that goes unsure i'm going to show you my collection because i think you can definitely tell like the numbers are dwindling so if you guys haven't seen it before, I have this over the door organizer on the back of my closet door that I hold all my Bath and Body Works in. And I think actually I have been downsizing, not really in the mist department. That's not really going as quickly as I'd like, but oh well. Um, but definitely shower gels. And then these two are gonna be used up next. And then look at that, I only have four. And one of them is to exchange. So, oh, actually let me put that in the exchange pile. If you guys haven't seen, I also have an exchange drawer full of stuff that I'm, I think I'm gonna just wait until the fall to exchange it. But, so now I have two shower gels, four lotions, one mist, four full-size candles. I actually have a fifth that wouldn't fit in here and then two uh, single wicks. If you guys didn't know, Bath & Body Works has a really good return policy. They're usually really nice about it. I figure if I bring like four in at a time though, they might not be very nice about it. Um, and I usually get stuck with like the new, the new member or like the new member of the team that doesn't know how to do returns yet. And so I have to like sit there and wait for them to explain how to do it to her. Just my luck that I always end up with that person. But yeah, that's the drawer of exchanges. Um, but this is all the stuff that I have that's not being used currently. Um, so I have white pumpkin chai, winter berry wonder, Christmas cookies that are all waiting for like when it's seasonally appropriate to use those. Um, and then saltwater breeze and blackberries and basil that will be in next for the summer. I think I'm going to take this with me on vacation and tell all my girl cousins to use it with me because, um, we like all share a bathroom and I really, I'm not a bit the biggest fan of this cause it's super floral. Um, so yeah, I'll be telling them to use that up when we go on vacation. And then um, lotions that are left, just plain old peppermint essential oil, Christmas cookies, vanilla bean noel, twisted peppermint, and white pumpkin and chai, all seasonally inappropriate. And I figure I'll probably start with white pumpkin and chai um, in like August-ish, because that's usually when I get the kick uh, for 
fall. So late July, early August, I get the kick for fall. So I'll probably start using that then. And then I might pull in one of the peppermint, either twisted peppermint or peppermint essential oil um, in the summer because some people have said it's like nice and cooling. So that'll be nice. Um, minis I'm doing pretty good on. I have a Bali Black Sands. I have a, a Belize Tropical Cabana. I have a little mini from Pink warm and cozy and then I have a sunset glow these I can go through pretty fast so not worried about that I have a few pocket bags I have four pocket bags I have two hand creams this is a perfume and two car fragrance refills these are all these have not changed at all um and then I have these four lotions co uh, body creams coconut mint drop which I'll probably wait on coconut cream pie which is going to go in next after I finish up with pink velvet cupcake white pumpkin chai which will go in July August and back here I can't get it here it is Christmas cookies so those will probably wait until it's more seasonally appropriate but this one's definitely next and then these two guys um vanilla swirl from pink and whipped dream from pink I'm not the biggest fan but they are good I think I'm going to try and start using up this one soon and then more exchanges. So actually I have, these are undecided actually if I want to exchange them or not. I have Winter Candy Apple and Rosé Champagne. If I find something, like if I find four shower gels that I really want, then I'll exchange these two and the two that are in the drawer. Um, and then Gingerbread Latte, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I don't hate it. And Bonfire Bash, which actually I may not get rid of. I don't know. I go back and forth on this one. That's why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Um, so these are like in purgatory until I decide what I want to do with them. Uh, but yeah, I feel like my collection is actually coming to a reasonable level. And I'm actually super proud of it. If only I could use up these a little quicker. I just can't. I'm like, I get choked out if I use too much. So, um, And then, of course, this is everything that I'm using currently for the project Use It Up. Um, and then I do have this one that's on display. It's just um, what vanilla chiffon. I had the mist up there, so I guess I'm gonna have to trade that out. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, I changed it out for warm vanilla sugar and coconut cream pie. I usually put the stuff that I'm like getting ready to use next and those just look nice together. So I'm gonna put those up there. And then of course my little bear, his name is actually Little Bear if you want to find him um, by J Cat. Uh, that's the brand. I think it's J Cat. Jelly Cat? Sorry, Jelly Cat. I'm thinking J Cat Beauty. LOL. But yeah, that's kind of everything. I don't think I'm going to do much today. So, oh, I guess I could show you. I'll put a picture over this of our Mother's Day present. I went and picked it up a few days ago um, for my mom for Mother's Day. We're going out tomorrow for lunch for her and we're gonna go out to a restaurant it's like our first time actually eating at a restaurant since this whole thing happened um so very excited about that we're going to our favorite mexican restaurant las mañanitas they have one in katie and one in cyprus if you live in the houston area so good definitely recommend it if you've ever had ninfas in houston it's very very similar to ninfas um ours that we used to have near us the ninfas closed down um so we don't have one anymore but yeah, it's definitely authentic Mexican food. So good. Uh, their margaritas are also to die for. So very excited about that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's like everything that I have to update you guys on. I don't, I really did not do a lot this week. Sorry. I feel like I don't do anything whenever I have no buys because I can't go out and shop. <laughs> so yeah, we know how that one goes, but um, I've actually been doing really good. I'm very motivated with where my collection is at right now that I can actually finish products in a good amount of time. So I'm gonna start making my like SAS wish list now so that way I can like have something to look forward to. But yeah, that's everything from me for this week's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.